Uh, somebody is in the chat who calls himself Carlin. Carolyn? Anyway, there is a lady. Oh, yeah. Carolyn Boris- Borisenko. There's a troll on my chat calling himself by that woman's name, Carolyn Boris- Borisenko, in my live chat on YouTube. And I've been thinking about something that she's been talking about, and I've mentioned it a couple of times already, yesterday and today. I mean, yesterday and the day before. About how this push against critical race theory by both rhinos, snakes in the grass, and by sensible people, right? Sensible people who know that anti-white attacks have been going on for many generations. From the 60s, maybe from before that, maybe, honestly, I mean, didn't the communists say that they're going to exploit the natural fissures of race to breed false suspicion, divide and conquer, and weaken society? And, and just like what JLP says about what he did in the unions, target the angry people and recruit them to their side. Let's m- make a movement, as he said in a, a, a recent Sunday service throwback, based on anger. This was after the Trayvon Martin thing. He talked about how the, how the black radicals and the liberals wanted to get a movement going in response to the murder. It wasn't a murder. It was a self-defense killing of Trayvon Martin based on anger. Gather all of these groups based on anger. And very soon, Black Lives Matter came up. A movement based on anger. False Anger. What is the biggest lie? What is the biggest lie but anger? By the way. So this critical race theory came out seven, eight years later. Or actually it was coined in, supposedly coined in the 70s or 80s, right? Yes, it's anti-white. This woman whom I mentioned is a walk-away lady. And I invited her on the show, but she declined. I think she's gotten into arguments with other, other people I saw. What's that guy? C.W. Uh, Culture War Criminal <laughs> went on her stream with a little discussion about it. 22-year-old young man, white man, from I think Texas or something. Culture War Criminal, he calls himself. I think his first name is Ethan, I'm not sure. He's appeared on like the Ralph Retort. I hadn't really heard of him before this. But he, he talked with her and said, you know, I have a long heritage in this country. And my grandparents and their grandparents and all these people throughout America, and now I, I see 22-year-old young man, this attack on whites. And so he identifies, seems to identify a little bit with his whiteness, which is a pretty natural thing for a lot of uh, fallen, normal fallen state people, right? Identify with your whiteness. And this guy, young man, may be actually a Christian. He acts like a decent young man, actually. And so... But that's, that's a big no-no to identify with your whiteness, right? It's not a no-no to identify with your blackness or your womanness or whatever else. This critical race theory, though, is uh, blaming whites as oppressors, right? Throughout history. I played you the clip of that woman who supposedly coined the term, who showed up on MS- LSD. Black female, dumb 62-year-old phony lady. Yes, it's anti-white, but Why? Is it anti-white? And I've talked about this. Look around. It's anti-what's right. Whites tend to stand for what's right. Men tend to stand for what's right more often. Christians tend to stand for what's right. That's why, and older people tend to be a little bit more sensible and stand for what's right. That's why, and some rich people know some things that some of the uh, do-nothing type people who are so-called poor also don't have, don't have sense compared to some of the people who are so-called rich or like business owners and stuff, right? Or working men. So that's why you see the attack on whites, the attack on men, the attack on Christians, the attack on uh, older people, who are the sensible older people, let's say, and uh, all those other things. Rich, that's why Trump is the most hated because he's old, rich, straight, White, conservative, Christian, man of power, and they hate that because he's standing for what's right. That's when the, that's when the re- overreaction hit. He was all those things, but then he started telling the truth about the uh, Mexico not sending their best, for example. CWC, 
culture war criminal is a groiper. Nice. Yeah, a decent young man, based on the impression I got. So, of course, it's anti-white. It's all anti-what's right, anti-what people have a right to be, anti-freedom. Let's say you are into the white thing. I don't really advise getting into this shallow physical identity thing, but you have a right to do it. Give me a break. That's anti-freedom to uh, clamp down on people's rights. Because you're trying to read people's minds and hearts and be suspicious of the whites who seem to be into their whiteness. But look at yourself and look at this woman. She says that she accuses people. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. Anyway, it's this critical race theory and all this other stuff is a false imitation. All liberalism is. The female version of morality is. It's a false imitation of love, of justice, of freedom. That's why they call it social justice, because it's not justice. Shout out to that uh, conservative Jewish comedian who's, who made the point. When they, when they, whenever they put an adjective in front of justice or in front of whatever, it's not justice. It's not rights. Civil rights, not actual rights. Social justice, not justice. Environmental Reproductive justice, environmental justice. See, they're seeking to replace the true version of love and freedom and justice. Acknowledging that it's anti-white doesn't make people get into their whiteness, by the way. She's into this knowledge some stuff, protecting people from their knowledge or any other, like, false identity, right? But anger gets people into their false identities. Anger is blindness, the ultimate lie, the lie that you have the right to play God, right? Like JLP says, to the sons of failing parents, you're right in what you're saying about these people. Yes, it is anti-white, or yes, you are. Yes, mom, you're being oppressive. <laughs> or yes, father, you are weak, but just don't be mad about it. I, I pictured the mother being evil and the father being weak, like the Democrats are evil and the Republicans are weak. Same type of thing, right? The Democrats are the females. And then the Republicans, those who are honest but weak, but just weak, there's some snakes, there's some female-minded, but there's, like, just weak, they're like the uh, weak male, weak fathers. And then the groipers and the uh, conservatives and the, uh, the real conservatives, and the whites, and the alt-right, those are what's left of them. I don't know anybody who calls himself alt-right anymore. <laughs> they're like the uh, teenagers that are right, but they're just mad. And then there's also a bunch of teenagers who are wrong and mad. <laughs> anyway. What's wrong with people being into their heritage and stuff? Wanting to be with a fellow decent whites, right? Not, the, not that kind of fellow white. <laughs> I'm talking about like Christians. They have that right. It's a brainwashing against whites who uh, love and don't hate whites. It's like brainwashing against men as rapists and molesters, right? You just, when it's mostly women doing that stuff, by the way, or brainwashing is, as whites are doing these horrific crimes like mass shootings and child molestation, when that's frequently, more frequently blacks doing that stuff, by the way. But there are, I mean, there are whites who target the, uh, occasionally, very rarely, who target the ducks in a barrel type thing. They go into gun-free zones, they're cowards, right? But whites, it's so funny because whites are the least racist people. Even the ones who are into their race, they treat people still de pretty decently, fair-minded, uh, as those who are... So anyway, it's ridiculous. So that lady, uh, Carolyn Korizenko or whatever, she fears a boogeyman of white power. Boogeyman. And it's a total boogeyman fear-mongering, going out of control. And yeah, every now and then there's this attack by, like, a lone wolf. And wolf isn't, is, is a bad word for it, because wolf sounds strong. These people are weak. These people who do these crazy shootings, Dylan Roof, or that guy who shot up the uh, El Paso shoot, El Paso Walmart. They're not celebrated by any of the pro-white people, really, <laughs> except for some of the ones who think that we need a race war. But they're just blind. But it's so funny because she's uh, misdiagnosing the problem, and she's she's guilty of what she's accusing them of. She's angry and evil and divisive and. Div She's attacking people, and people are attacking her. People are hating her. She's hating them. And pointing out others' anger and evil when she's angry and evil. 
her, her same anger is as destructive as the supposed white power people would, who I've never seen in my life. She's pretending not to be an identity yet accusing everybody else of racism, sexism, etc., which is a fake, blind diagnosis of the problem. She's a doctor. Intellectual. Don't pretend to be guilty of hating based on those things if you don't believe in identifying based on those things, right? Blind women. Shut up. She's a liberal. Libertarian. Liberal. Same thing. <laughs> but she did walk away. She's trying to be reasonable, but she's blind and angry. What a mess.